Tomorrow's democracy discriminates against discrimination. Its charter won't include the freedom to end freedom. Race hate isn't human nature. Race hate is the abandonment of human nature. guys logic no pressure this is new album and it is brilliant guys it is another lyrical masterpiece by young sinatra aka logic bobby hall the man the myth the legend he's done it again guys and no this is just it's inspiring like he's in a good place mentally he's come through a lot of things I mean, obviously in hip-hop, you sing about your past and how you got to where you are and then you got how you got through that, you know? It's life. And he's singing about that and he's very grateful for where he is in his life. Newborn son, you know? Um, he's started a family, so that's really what makes someone a man. But can you be a rapper and a man at the same time? A father and a husband or, or a partner or whatever? Um, it's different, it's different. And, you know, you can sound tough on a on a record, on a, on a rap record or hip-hop. You know, your lyrics can sound tough. But this is what makes you a man, really. And people talking about his retirement and all this because of that reason, but... Nah, I mean, you can't... You can't be saying that about someone who's this legendary. I mean, so many legends that after so many years are still going. Think of Snoop Dogg, you know, all these people just keep going. And so you start the album with No Pressure intro. It's a sick intro for a song. Um, I've heard the heard it as a freestyle beat they used in the past. Um, last year at some point. Then Hit My Line is the second song on the list, which is a really upbeat one. They all, they all are in some ways. You know, it's about celebrating what he's got and then followed by GP4. And then celebration, you know, it's in the title. Um, and then obviously, open mic slash Aquarius free. Is that a slash? Yeah, but even the 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 lyrics just just tell you the story about his current situation, how good it is, how grateful he is. You know, and then it goes on to so for soul food. Perfect is a very good one. Obviously, no one's perfect. Um, yeah, I can't really listen to these on there, can I? Because that will just get copyright strikes right away. Then Man it, I Is. Man out. Dad Bod is a good one. There's a video for that. It's just him with his son and his missus. Five Hooks, Dark Place. A to Z. Heard them say. Amen, of course. He's religious in some ways. And then... So you've got all these tunes, and then at the end you've got Obediently Yours, a speech by Orson Welles, who is one of, one of the greatest actors, directors, writers of, of, you know, the last 100 years, 50 years, whatever you want to call it. And so that that is just... That is the, the, the song in the album, really talking about current situations and relating to the situations we're all in now. The world is in, you know, in some ways, in terms of the BLM movement and how we want to treat everyone equally, rightly so. You know, because we're all created equal, just not treated that way, sadly, still in 2020. You know, and people are always thinking about Corona this, Corona that, Covid, all the things about that, but nothing else. While I'm here talking about logic, I want to read the lyrics of Obediently Yours, uh, because obviously they're from a speech that Orson Welles did many years ago. I mean, he's a famous actor, director, writer, many films, mainly black and white films, so those of you younger uh, 
movie fans out there, go and watch The Third Man. If you're into photography and like how they use contrast and light and dark in movies to uh, portray an image. That's a brilliant movie anyway. In black and white. If you don't like black and white movies then... I don't know. So yeah, Obediently Yours. It's a great piece of uh, writing, guys. Uh, you probably heard the song, and it, it really hit home for me. It really, not, well, not personally, but like, got me thinking about the world we're living in today. And yeah, this is from a point of view of someone with lots of money in America. But just listen. Um, I might change a certain word just because of its negative, like, yeah, connotations. That'd be one word, but you, you you know you'll know if you've heard it. Like, I'm gonna leave that word out, guys. So here we go, guys. Obediently yours by Logic or oh, Orson Welles. <laughs> I've spoken these words before, but not on the radio. To be born free is to be born in debt. To live in freedom without fighting slavery. To profiteer. I have met southerners who expect and fear a, a black insurrection. I see no purpose in withholding this from general discussion. There may be those within that outcast 10% of American people who someday will strike back at their oppressors. But to put down that mob, a mob would rise. I'd like to ask, please, who will put down that mob? I'm an overpaid producer with pleasant reasons to rejoice, and I do in the wholesome practicality of the profit system. But surely my right to having more than enough is cancelled if I do not use that more to help those who have less. I owe the very profit I make to the people I make it from. If this is radicalism, it comes automatically to most of us in show business. It being generally agreed that any public man owes his position to the public. That's what I mean when I say I am your obedient servant. We must each day earn what we own. A healthy man owes to the sick all that he can do for them. An educated man owes to the ignorant all that he can do for them. A free man owes to the world slaves all that he can do for them. And what is to be done is more, much more than good works, Christmas baskets, bonuses and tips, and bread and circuses. There is only one thing to be done with slaves. Free them. If we can't die in behalf of progress, we cannot live for it. Progress we Americans take to a mean to mean a fuller realization of democracy. The measure of process progress as we understand it is the measure of equality enjoyed by all men. We do something about that. We can do something about that. The way our fighting brothers and sisters look at it. Some of them dead as I speak these words. The way they looked at it. We're lucky and they're right. We're lucky to be alive. But only if our lives make itself worth dying for. They're trying to disturb me guys. We must be worthy of our luck or we are damned. Our lives were spread but this is merely our lives were spared sorry but this is merely the silliest of accidents unless we put the gift of life to the hard employments of justice if we waste that gift. We won't have anywhere to hide from indignation of history. I want to say this, the morality of the auction block is out of date. There's no room in the American century for Jim Crow. Tomorrow's democracy discriminates against discrimination. Its charter won't include the freedom to end freedom. Race hate isn't human nature. Race hate is the abandonment of human nature. There are alibis for phenomenal excuses, economic and social, but the brutal fact is simply this 
where the racist lies acceptable, there is corruption. The race haters must be stopped. The lynchings must be stopped. The murders must be avenged. I come in that boy's name and in the name of all who in this land of ours have no voice of their own. I come with a call for action. This is the time for it. A call for action against the cause of riot. It won't surprise me if I'm accused in some quarters of inciting riots. Well, I'm interested in riots. I'm very interested in avoiding them. So I call for action against the cause of riots. And that is most of it, guys. It is very long and very inspiring. Um, I made a few mistakes along the way, but it's a lot to take in. Um, I recommend you listen to the whole album, especially that one, and take it in and think about it. Yeah, some of the words used are out of date, but in 2020, you shouldn't even be talking about these things. But we are. And Logic always made a point to express how he experienced racism, having both black and white heritage. Um, he suffered for that, you know, he was on, he was, he couldn't fit in in either culture. Um, and he suffered racism from his own mother. So he knows, he knows what, what it is to, to feel these, these horrible feelings like to be treated that way. But when I talk about logic in general, like his body of work is immense. His, uh, you know, mixtapes, Young Sinatra, Undeniable, Young Sinatra, Welcome to Forever. They really sold me on the talent this kid has. I say kid, he's still a kid, really. Well, yeah, he's young, 30, uh, in his 30s. He's very young, and anyone who said he's going to retire, yeah, maybe they heard that somewhere, but I hope not. I mean, why? Someone this good, we can't be denied this talent. People say, oh, he's too old, he's losing his hair. You know, he said that in one of his lyrics, how people think he's too old, he's, you know, this and that. I don't agree. I do not agree because he's got a lot more to offer. Like, one, one of the legends of today, of rap and hip hop today. You know, think of J. Cole, people like that, what, who I look up to today, uh, Kendrick Lamar. In that industry, they're the best of today. I know there's the old school, uh, you know, hip hop artists that are legendary, but these are the new, the newer generation, you know, and all these little whatevers now. But I don't know about them. But these guys speak the truth, and we need to hear the truth. Um, it's not fair to to live in a world like this anymore. Um, yeah, I, I got political, didn't I? talking about an album but yeah he, he speaks about some important issues and his own self growth and what having a son means to him and I love all his albums but of the recent ones he's probably up there one of the best the last one was good he did a lot of featuring this one is more himself it's different but I have a lot of respect for his line of work and people who do it honestly you know they, they, they have real talk speak from the heart That's and long may his career continue anyway peace out guys I'm going to leave you for now that was my album review of Logic's new album No Pressure that is it for today guys I'm going to enjoy this album. Just gotta to listen to it now actually. Peace.